Yo, what up, Hoj fam? Today, I wanna talk about why I think you should play WoW right now. Uh, it's a completely biased and subjective um, uh, opinion. I, I do love this game. I've loved it off and on, even through the times where people hated it. Um, uh, that there's a reason why I always come back to this game, and I'm pretty sure why you always come back to this game. Uh, before you go further, let me give you some background into me uh, and how my history with WoW. Uh, I've played it for the last 10 to uh, 15 years. Um, no, 10 to 10 to like 12 or 13 years. I think I played a little bit with Vanilla, but I didn't really get into it after until after Burning Crusade uh, around that area. Um, I've absolutely loved this game throughout the years. Uh, I've put a lot of hours into other MMOs. Uh, I've played Destiny 2. I probably put 1,000 to 1,500 hours into that game. Uh, I played Guild Wars 2 off and on. Uh, I put at least 500 hours into that game. I played New World when it first came out, put at least 250 hours plus into that game. Uh, and a lot of other MMOs. I'm playing Lost Ark as well right now. Uh, but I, I love MMOs. They've always been my bread and butter, always what I come back to, uh, kind of no matter what's going on in life. Um, WoW, though, has always been that game. Uh, I'll take breaks for six months at a time sometimes and then come back or a year. And then usually come back for a few months to six months, maybe to a year, off and on. Um, there, there's just so much to love about WoW. Uh, so I'm going to get into those reasons uh, why I think you should play WoW right now. Like I said, again, this is subjective and uh, biased because I do love this game. Uh, I am just getting back into it, and I just want to dive into that with you guys. So before we dive into it, um, make sure you like the video if you do like the video. Uh, leave a comment down below of your thoughts if you disagree with my reasons, uh, if you like them. Uh, if you have other reasons why you think that this should... Um, that I should include maybe in a future video. Uh, uh, I'd love to hear it, honestly. Um, and hit that sub button too. It really helps me out. Um, I'm gonna make more content for the WoW, mostly MMOs. We make everything MMO related, uh, gaming related, and we kinda help people out with some tutorials with how to record that gameplay and stuff like that. Uh, this is also gonna be a positive um, video. Um, uh, none of that negativity uh, here <laughs> at the Hosh fam. So let's get into it. So. One of the first reasons uh, I want to talk to you about with you guys is leveling alts is so seamless and fun. Uh, like I said, I come from a background from a bunch of different different MMOs. I personally, what I love about WoW is the fact that you can have multiple different alts um, and different classes. I love the class system. I love having a paladin and one character and a shaman. They play completely different, uh, you know, or a mage or warlock, whatever the class is. Uh, this game is so much fun, and I know it seems like the same old thing for leveling, but it, the leveling is fantastic. Uh, if you guys tried other MMOs, at least over the last few months, I know there's been a lot of hate um, with towards uh, Blizzard and WoW in general because of, you know, it's kind of felt like they left their community. Um, and while I might not disagree with you there in some ways, I, I do think the game is still really fun. And there's a lot of things that it brings to the table that other MMOs just don't do. Uh, the leveling right now is fantastic. They just changed the 9.1.5 patch that you can level through Turias, which is kind of what I'm doing right now with my Shaman. I haven't played him in like two or three years so i'm still figuring it out but it's it was an absolute blast to be able to level through this stuff and i think at the end of the level i get half a level maybe uh or maybe it's thirty thousand xp experience for, for completing all floors all five floors um you can still you know level through dungeons if you want to do that um now if you're someone who's played wow before um renown if you have max renown which is i think is 80 on one of your characters uh you can now bump up your other alts just with i think it's 500 gold um, from a vendor in uh, Oribos to bump up um, them to 40 renown. So you don't have to do that grind back to back um, with getting one character full renown, max renown or 40 renown and then do the same thing with the other one. They've made it a lot easier to switch over with that. So being able to bump your, your other alt to uh, 40 renown right away is fantastic for a really cheap price for gold. I love that they added that. Um, I know some people are going to be having a hard time because they believe that they should have done that in the first place. And while I do agree with you, it is nice to have now. Um, for new people, leveling alt is an absolute blast. You should really try to give it a go. Um, I've been leveling an alt, uh, a couple alts actually, with my my girlfriend. I just got her in a while for the first time. She's a new gamer. We've tried, we've played some New World together. She's put about a little over 100 hours, I think, into that. Uh, she played some RuneScape with me, and um, she finally decided to give this one a go. And we've been leveling from one all the way to 50 together on uh, a couple different classes and she's absolutely loving it and she's bringing up points that she enjoys about the game and stuff that she doesn't 
Um, but just realizing a newcomer who's never played WoW before, just see all the joy and um, stuff that comfort comes from it. And it, it, you know, it is it is comforting to level and chill and lay back. I know some people here probably don't like leveling alts, and that's okay completely. It's cool that this game has where you can main one character you really like, and you can play them for years and years to come and put thousands of hours into it, and it's still it's still okay. So my next reason, uh, this can be positive guy coming through. Uh, as much as people throw hate or dislike this game at times, they almost always come back. And yeah, I could be talking about you. You know, and, and it's funny because um, I'm talking about me at a couple points too. Uh, there was points where, and times where I didn't really feel like coming back into this game. Uh, I didn't enjoy it sometimes. It felt like the, uh, you know, the content wasn't fantastic, but. I always came back, and I think a lot of a lot of people do, and there's a reason for that. Um, so I kind of want to compare this game to other games. Uh, one of the first things is PvP. PvP is um, fantastic. I, I love PvP, and yes, there is some things that they could do better. Probably many things they can do better, um, uh, but it, it's still a blast. I don't know if you've tried other MMOs, and they've tried to basically replica. Um, or you know, uh, make a replica of this game's PvP because it's so good. Having arenas and, and battlegrounds, and then having a higher skill cap. Now it can be better, and there's certain expansions that have been better um, for sure. Uh, it's still there, and it's viable. It's better than most PvP that's in any other MMO by far. And, and I've pl I've been playing Lost Ark. I love the game. I love the PvP, the arena part of it. But there's it's it's you know to, for me I, I compare it to WoW. I've always enjoyed WoW PvP throughout the years. Um, another thing is in-game content. Like there's so much in-game content in this. There are mythic dungeons, normal dungeons if you want to, time walking dungeons that they bring back, which is where they go into other like old past expansions, and you get to do the content there at max level and get some different rewards for it. There's raiding. There's raiding on different difficulty. There's mythic dungeons for this season or this expansion um, that you get to do on a harder difficulty each time that have different conditions. Um, there's a lot of games that do not have the same thing as this game uh it, even like i said before my, for my first point leveling alts and having different classes that is awesome you know I, like i said i put and i'm not dissing on any other mmo here but i played some new world for a while and some people that are listening to this they might like new world and they might absolutely hate it uh, for me it was 250 hours of uh, that I really enjoyed uh, a lot of walking <laughs> but I always compare that to wow being able to travel and do that and we'll get into some mounts here in just a few minutes but like um, being able to uh, to uh, have different classes to level all the way through for a new world you kind of just ch switch out your weapon change your gear a little bit and then you're kind of a different class for me I love having a separate different class being able to have a hunter uh, and run beast mastery and control a bunch of different pets and to attack different enemies and then go into my shaman where I can heal with this like spiritual freaking um, awesomeness uh, and turn people into frogs that's fantastic and part of the reason why I love wow so much so I guess my point is as much as you may hate this game or dislike this game or people do and if you're a new player trying to come back into this game or if you just haven't come back for a long time but you're thinking about it um, don't listen to all the negativity there's still a lot of things to love about this game um, and if you don't know try it out yourself seriously do it you hopefully won't regret it <laughs> my third reason uh, to play this game is the content. I know I briefly touched on it in the last point, but it has content for, I mean, everything, okay? This game has been out for years, and it has been successful, and I really mean uh, successful. One of the leading, uh, if not the leading MMO for many years, uh, and that counts for something. Uh, there are mounts in this game that are fantastic. There's so many mounts. I think there's like I honestly don't know the number, but I think it's like 600 you, that you can work for and get for, different things for for different reasons. You can do past raids, past dungeons to get them. You can um, uh, go through all that content. You can do a raid. You can get an achievement to unlock them. There's a lot of cool mounts out there that are super fun to get, um, and it's awesome. It's worth doing. 
Another thing is allied races. Uh, they added these allied races that you get to work towards and just do a quest line if you haven't already done them. I mean, look at some of these races are so freaking gorgeous uh, and awesome. And I haven't even liked all of them. Only I've only worked on three since I've been coming back. I just got the Volpera, and then you can level an alt or somebody that you want to, or change your race to one of your mains and use one of the new races. That is a really cool feature. Uh, that, that, that a lot of games just don't have. They don't have as many options for races and classes in each race that can do certain things. That's a super cool thing. Like I mentioned before, you can do mythic dungeons and, and, and raids, which is harder difficulty. There's PvP arenas and raided battlegrounds and, and uh, so much stuff there that there's a high skill cap. Or if you just want to get in casually and do that, then you can too. Uh, there's achievement farming. You can literally try to complete every achievement in the game or certain achievements for certain races or things to do. Uh, the, there's th I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of hours you can put in this game. And that's only to name just a few reasons, uh, things that you can do to get those hours. And, and enjoy it enjoy the process enjoying the process of, is a big thing for me uh these are only just a few reasons of, of all the content that this game has to offer and why you should be playing right now uh why not start it and um and don't let everybody's negativity get you down from playing it my last reason for why i think you should play wow and it may seem kind of silly to to some people but um it's kind of like is this game um earning the money that I put into it. So how I do that, and I'm sure a lot of people, a lot of gamers have heard of this before, uh, but it's kind of a buck for every hour you're spending. So for WoW, it's um, it's 15 bucks a month. If you get in the subscription, it's 15 bucks a month. Sometimes you get the packages, it's a little lower, like um, maybe 14, 13, maybe even 12 if you buy a big pack for that. So it, my, my thing is, is if I'm gonna pay $15 a month, am I getting 15 hours or more into the game? A buck for every hour. Am I putting that in every month um, to keep playing this game if i am and i'm enjoying it that is then that's worth it for me that is a 100 percent worth it and if there comes a time in the future where i don't want to spend that 15 dollars for financial reasons or it's not become worth it to me i'm not even putting in the hours into that then that's when i unsubscribe and i'll come back later the buck for every hour rule is an always a good thing um to do for almost any game that you play if i'm gonna buy a 60 dollar game am i gonna put 60 or at least hours into that game and enjoy it and some games might even be worth you know more more to you like there's some story games out there that i pay 100 bucks for and i only get 10 hours of enjoyment and i freaking love it it was worth every cent you know but i would go by that rule and and, and do that my final thoughts for this I, I gave you guys some reasons some biased reasons some positive reasons i think why you should come back especially for new players or people that just you know honestly they want a reason to come back to the game because they miss it but everybody's being so negative with it i hope this video helps you honestly but uh you know for my two cents, uh, this was my two cents, so take with it what you will. Uh, I, I love this game. I'm going to keep playing it off and on for as long as they'll let me. And if, you know, WoW 10.0 is a new thing or WoW 2 comes out, I'll be playing that. Honestly, I might take a break for a while, but I'll come back. Um, I, I know it. I know myself. Uh, but, you know, if you don't know, if you don't agree with me, um, try it out for yourself. You know, uh, you can level to level 20 if you're brand new. Level to level 20 for free. It doesn't cost you anything. Or if you want to. Pay 50 bucks a month for one month. Try it out. If you've played it before, if you haven't, see if you like it. You know, I suggest playing with friends, um, getting to know new people. There's guilds, there's different stuff. My buddy, I've been playing with my buddy. Uh, shout out to Dragos for helping me out with everything and supporting the stream and all that stuff. But I've been playing with my buddy, and he literally was just asking some guy last night about what he could do better for his character and how to play them. And this guy just ended up helping him out, walked him through this whole thing of how to do what he needed to get done. And he was playing with him for hours, added him as a friend. That's such a cool thing. People, so There are still people that do that stuff and that are positive and, and really love to show people what's going on. So, like I said, play this game yourself. Try it out. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Um, I really want to hear it. I'll even play with you. If you're brand new to the game, I'll freaking play with you. I'll level someone up with you. If you're not new to the game and you do in-game content, then I'll play with you there too. If you absolutely hate wow and you just want to rag on it i'll listen to you for 10 minutes that's probably all I'll, I'll be able to you know stand but i'll i'll listen to you for 10 minutes seriously though let me know your comments you know let me know in the comments down below what you guys think uh if you like the video you know please hit that like button it really does help me out and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications it, it goes a long ways i'm gonna be make, making more mmo content in the future and you know i hope you guys like it anyways i, I love you guys and i'll catch you next time